basically here's the, the rope cocker. You can see that I've got no string at the end of mine. What I do, and I carry, uh, I have at least two others. Again, I carry them in Ziploc bags because if you throw this in the bottom of your uh, backpack, it's gonna get all tangled in with everything else. So to avoid that, I put them right in a the Ziploc bag. I can easily see what's inside the bag, not a problem. So I've got a couple of those, but uh, I carry one in the case, one in my backpack, and then I carry the other one. I typically, when, when I'm done hunting, I leave the, the cocking rope right on the crossbow. I don't even take it off. I just leave it on there after I uncock my crossbow. I have a recurve, I have an Excalibur. I can uncock it when I'm done. I come out of the woods, I, well, I actually want to get out of the tree stand. I uncock the crossbow, put the arrow away, walk up out of there, but I leave the rope on there because it's nice and tight and snug and it stays on there and that way I know where it is next time. You'll see that these ropes, they come extra length. You know, there's a lot of extra rope on here. Once you've got it, tuned in for your, and I bought these on eBay. These, these are not, uh, the original one is, the one that I mainly use is an Excalibur, but the others are, these, this is a one that I got off of eBay. As long as it is the model that fits your crossbow, you should be all right. But I put it on there and get it so it's snug. And then what I'll do when I get it so it's the right length, tie these knots and you have to pull them out and keep tying them because they're gonna pull through. But basically when I get it to the right length, after I've got this knot, in the right spot, uh, I cut the rest off. You don't need that extra rope. And I'm not gonna use this on a different crossbow. If you were gonna use it on a different crossbow, maybe you would wanna maintain that, but I'm never gonna need that extra foot of rope laying around and it just gets in the way. So I cut that off, uh, at least on the one that I'm primarily using and feel free to do that. I recommend you use a rope cocker. Uh, I don't have any problem cocking this, this Excalibur, 175 pound draw weight with a rope cocker, cocking device, cocking aid, whatever you wanna call it. I recommend you put that on there the biggest problem that I see people having is the rope cocking device. First of all, for this is an Excalibur. For Excalibur, they recommend that you put the hooks down. Now to show you what that means, the hooks point down, the open part of the hook points down. You've gotta push these hooks in tight to the rail. You'll see how I have them here, they're tight to the rail. If you try and cock it with one of them out here and you pull back on that, the problem with that is you're gonna put more pressure on one side than the other and that extra pressure is gonna pull that string a little bit tighter on one side, it is going to create inaccuracy. So to avoid that, we cock it with both hooks up against the rail every time. When you pull it tight, it will be perfectly cocked every time, and that's how we assure accuracy.